we have just picked up hopefully the last of the tiles we also have all this petrol can <laughs> we've got so much crap in our car honestly hello and welcome to renovation week six today has been very stressful <laughs> Jas and i have literally just this minute got home from the tile shop just picked up some tiles i filmed a few clips i didn't start my intro the tiles are all finally sorted and the minute we pulled up outside the flat literally we were like should we go to the house and drop the tiles off at the house or should we just come home because i have to go to the house tomorrow to meet the builders anyway and they just said pick them up yourself if you can and they'll obviously take them out of my car for me and so I just thought, sod it, let's just go home and just have like one night where we're not doing house stuff or we'll do house stuff online rather than going to the house. The minute I parked up outside the flat, I got a phone call from some guy and he was like, hi, I'm here like with some radiator deliveries. And I was like, what? So there's no one here. And I was like, yeah, but no one told me you were coming. Basically, I've been ordering loads of stuff, obviously, like radiators, valves, shower trays. I can't keep up with what's arriving when. And it's obviously really annoying when stuff arrives after about 4 or 5 p.m. because the builders are not there and I can't carry this stuff myself. So now me and Jas are gonna go to the house. It's all just the wrong direction. We could have just gone straight there if we'd have known, but then the guy was really annoying because apparently these radiators came from Birmingham. So he was like, I'm gonna have to take them back to Birmingham with me. I was like, right. And then I thought maybe I'll get charged for like re-delivery. Then I said to him, how long can you wait? And he was like, well, I've been into your garden. I can leave them in there. Obviously we can't leave radiators out there all night. And I was like, why was he in my garden? That's obviously trespassing. I didn't tell him to go in there. So he was like, oh yeah, there's a washing machine in here. So I was like, yeah, just put them next to that. So now we're gonna go to the house first and take these radiators inside and then come back home again. It's just, what a mission. Anyway, apart from that, I've had a really good day. Hope you guys have too. And yeah, I have no idea which radiators these are or how big they are. I just hope they're not super heavy because how on earth are we gonna carry them? That's gonna be a fun job. And my car is also full of tiles, grout and adhesive. Oh my god, it's freezing. Those are my radiators. I cannot believe these guys came into our garage and just left them here. But I mean, it is obviously open for anyone to come in. But I don't want them knowing that. Okay, we've just taken one inside and oh my god, these are so heavy. What a beast. What would I do if you went here? Also, your jeans have just come out of the laundry and we are full of... Oh, so have my leggings. Oh, these were all clean clothes. I purposely wear really dirty clothes when I come to the flat house because I get all dusty, but let's try this one. One down, one to go. These are our beautiful black column radiators, by the way. Oh my God, we're quickly losing daylight here. And I don't think there's any electricity in the house. Well, yeah. There's no lights here yet. So, these are my beautiful column radiators. I'm very happy with how they look, just not happy with the delivery people. There was a little hole in one of them. Oh, you're not gonna be able to see it, it's too dark. But yeah, they're anthracite. And I think the reason the delivery people were so shit is because I bought them on eBay. Radiators are so much cheaper on eBay to buy than from any company, and these are free delivery too, so it's always worth bearing in mind. In fact, I've bought a lot of stuff on eBay, but these were so heavy to bring in, Jesus. Whew, tired. I've just come in through the front of the house, and I wanted to show you stuff, but literally there's no electricity. And I've had to shut the curtains because I won't be able to find my way back um, if it gets really dark. But look, the supports have gone that were holding the steel up at the end of my last video. That's all happened today, which is very exciting. Those curtains are obviously falling apart, but they're just using them now for privacy. But this is it. This is our big open space. The builder called me today actually and said that the island that we're planning to have is actually really small now that this wall has gone quite far back. So that's also really good news. Potentially we can get a bigger kitchen island in here, which means more storage, more countertop space and all the rest of it, which I'm very happy about. And I don't know what all this is. We've got all of our deliveries here. Vanity unit, toilet seat, the toilet somewhere. This is my towel radiator for the downstairs. Bathroom, I did want to open it up and have a look, make sure it's not all damaged, but I'm gonna be here in the day, so I might ask the builder to show me. Oh my God, look. They've like done this as well. This is like the door frame for the downstairs toilet. This was all hollow when I was here yesterday, so they've obviously filled this in. Yeah, that's why they were keen for me to get the floor tiles. 
now that makes sense and i also think i've got too many judging by this space but it's been very tiny in there we always knew this was going to happen so that's obviously not a problem but wow i love seeing this oh bloody hell my um i just dropped my camera it fell out of my pocket but it wasn't working for a second but thank god it's fine now jess is just bringing the rest of these tiles in they're so heavy oh my god so these are the ones that are going on the floor in the downstairs toilet and these are the ones that are going on the floor in the upstairs bathroom i did actually go for mid gray initially and then when i went back to have a look i saw the light gray and i actually really prefer that because we've got a lot of black bathroom accessories and i don't want it to look too dark in there also the mid gray color looked a bit like school uniformy grey which is an awful shade of grey so these are a lot paler it's not quite the grey white and black look I was going for but I really like them I think with dark grout they'll look nice too so yeah the only thing I don't like is these were the curtains in our living room that are now in our front garden which basically means you can see right through in there which is not ideal oh my god guys the plaster is drying it doesn't look that nice at the moment does it no, I wonder why it does. A bit lighter. Oh, it's too much of a glare from the window. This looks a bit whiter. That still looks wet. This is more mauvey toned. I really, really loved the colour of the plaster when it was freshly put on, actually. That pale pink was just beautiful. Oh, maybe this, because it's wetter, will turn this colour. That's the colour paint I want. It's so nice in here. Oh my god, look at this, we've got like a hole all the way through to the front of our house. You can literally see outside, how crazy is that? That's for um, an air venty thing to go in, but so funny. Okay, I was a bit concerned about where my blind has gone from the other bedroom. They've put it out on the roof, which is really weird. That's the one thing I told them that I wanted to keep for now. Should we bring it in? Yeah, let's do it. It's a bit that. weird, like what if it rains? And also, who's going to put this blind back up? Hmm, a bit strange. So it turns out Jas can't actually reach the blind. Yeah, uh, they climbed down, I think. Oh, they must, yeah, he's well, this. Unless they had a ladder, but. Well, it looks like there's footprints on the roof, yeah. so someone must have climbed out there. Okay, let's just leave it. I'll ask him. I'll message him actually on the way home to find out what's happening with that. And, um, yeah, this room looks no different, really to last time, apart from the fact that the floorboards have now filled in so you can actually walk properly. These are very clearly new. Oh, it's a bit loose. Um, these are maybe the original ones, maybe just old ones, who knows. But look at this. We have space. So exciting. Hello, happy Tuesday. Um, I've just been to the house. Oh, my Ren meeting's just started. I've got a meeting with the kitchen designer from Ren Kitchens and we're finalizing a few details, so let me show you. Okay, there we go. Can you hear me? Hold on. <laughs> okay, so he's joined, but his audio is not on. What is, I think I've been bitten here by something. I just look like a hot mess. My life is a hot mess at the moment, but his audio is not on. Anyway, we're finalising a lot of the details on the kitchen, which is... The kitchen's been the most stressful thing of all of this, to be honest, because you only do it once. I think he's calling me, actually, so I'll speak to you later. Ah, <sighs> what a day. Um, I've just got off the Zoom call with Ren, had some dinner, and yeah, it was a couple of hours long. We've had like four of these Zoom calls with them, and we went into the store last week to see what the kitchen will look like, and yeah, they are a little bit annoying. I don't know what this is on my face. They're a little bit annoying. Don't love the people that we're dealing with, but the kitchen is the most affordable, and it looks pretty good. So I'm quite happy with the design, actually, but I've got this, like, massive list, my shopping list, of, like, all the stuff that we need to buy, like, tiles, um, shower trays, shower waste, the sh all the bits for the bathroom, and all the rest of it i've basically made a list of everything that we need for like the kitchen the downstairs the upstairs including curtains lights blah 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 blah. so i've just been ticking it off as and when we do it and i've got deliveries arriving left right and center so it's all very stressful but tonight i think we're going to finalize the last few bits for the upstairs bathroom minus the underfloor heating which is something we're still like trying to 
find and yeah hopefully that will satisfy the builders for a few more days and I can start looking at some other stuff that we need but this morning I was shopping for toilets and now I'm shopping for a shower head and a toilet flush a cistern and just boring bits like that so that is my life at the moment I'm literally sat here at my laptop from the minute I wake up till I go to bed and I go to the house in between or have dinner whatever and it's all just very stressful but it's all coming to an end pretty soon so once this is out of the way we can relax a little bit more <sighs> I am tired this week today is Thursday the 29th of April I think I've just received a parcel there's been lots of parcels going to the house but the little things I've ordered here so I can take them as and when the builders want them because I just feel like they're going to get lost oh I think these are radiator valves because there's two boxes oh they're very heavy actually let's open them up and have a look yep antique brass that's the colour that I have gone for anyway today's a very exciting day so I think Jess and I are going to Ikea in fact we should be leaving about now like three o'clock He's gonna sneak off work a little bit early, but he'll still be working. I'll drive there, because it'll take us quite a while to get there and school traffic and all the rest of it. And luckily for Jas, he's not like me. Sorry, I'm really struggling with this box. Um, he's not like me. He can bend down and look at his laptop in a moving car, so he can like tether off his phone while I drive there, and hopefully by the time we get there, it's a reasonable time for him to sort of Sorry, that was noisy. It's a reasonable-ish time for him to sort of finish work. And if not, he can just sit in the car and work while I go into Ikea and then he can meet me in there. So, mm, these are a bit damaged, you know. Oh, anyway, these are my radiator valves that are going on my column radiator, but I've just had a look. And if you can see, the paint's a bit chipped here. So it looks slightly damaged which is annoying which means I'm gonna have to open up the second box to check anyway so I've got my big list of stuff I want from Ikea in fact I found a few more things which is really good because Ikea is super cheap and I'm very excited to go there because we all love Ikea anyway that's what we're doing today I haven't been to the house for did I go yesterday the day before I think I went I haven't been for a while but the renovation is coming to an end now which is equal parts exciting and also terrifying and also there's a lot of painting that needs to be done in the entire house and we're not getting our builders to paint we're doing it ourselves because it's obviously cheaper for us to do it ourselves but last night the builder sent me a whole long list of all the stuff I have to buy and I was just like are you joking and he was like if you want a good finish you need to buy all this <laughs> because obviously the walls are freshly plastered it's not just a case of painting over existing paint so it's going to be a lot of work and I absolutely hate painting I don't mind wallpaper stripping I love destroying things breaking things screwing things in putting up shelves I like DIY it's just painting that I really really hate so I did say to him I was like god this list is ridiculous we might be calling you back in a few weeks, but I doubt that will happen because it's quite expensive. Anyway, um, that's what we're doing today and I will probably take you with me to Ikea when we leave and show you some exciting bits, hopefully. Hopefully they have the stuff that I want in stock. Let's all just cross our fingers because I don't have time to keep going back and forth to Ikea. It's not that close. The queues were ridiculous before the last lockdown and I just hope it's not the same today, which is why I want to try and get there a bit earlier before the rest of the world finishes work. So I've just been picking up some coasters for a friend and just keeps getting distracted by little things. He likes these, they're made out of cork. I think these bamboo ones look nice. They're literally £1.50 for two coasters. We definitely do not need coasters, but now we're both stood here trying to figure out which ones are nicer. I think those... What do you think, mm. Jess? No, they're both alright, but do we need them? No. Alright. Let's leave it. Look at this! These look so similar to the tiles that I've already ordered, but in yellow. I really like this mirror, but there's no price tag on it. Oh, screaming kids. Just convinced me to buy some dime bars. That wasn't part of the plan. And this is basically our haul. Those coasters are for my friend who wanted them. We bought some curtains though, so that was successful. But we didn't buy as much as I hoped we would. Now, we're queuing up. 
to pay. We're just measuring out the island. Sorry, what was that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, 960. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. That is quite. So, I'm in the kitchen part of the extension, and we've just been mapping out where the island is going to go and how far out we can go to this end because we have two different designs that we're working with. So this is quite good because now I can actually visualize the proper size of it and see where it will be. The island will basically start where that measuring tape is and come out to about here. We could have taken it out a little bit further. But we won't have the clearance for the dining table on this side. So that's basically the plan for now. So lots going on at the house today. The portaloo has just arrived and loads of deliveries too. We're back at Ikea. Not again. <laughs> <laughs> don't kill me. <laughs> I rushed and bought a bathroom cabinet yesterday even though Jas didn't like it and now the builder doesn't like it either. I mean, it's not the right one. I need to exchange it for the one Jas wanted basically. But I also need to buy a few other things. So we're back here again and hopefully it isn't too busy. We're going straight to the returns area though. This is literally our hall. We've got water with us because it's so hot and in here. But we've just bought a giant light bulb. Four light bulbs and a pendant light. Me too. Oh, Ikea was the longest thing of life. Their system broke for the collection bit and no, we waited place. like, what, almost 40 minutes, I think. They were like stressing out. Yeah. <laughs> they had to like manually get everyone's receipts to check. Um, it's very annoying. Anyway, it's now almost 7.30. We've got no dinner prepared at home. I don't know what we're going to do, but I'm going to sign off here for now. Hello, happy Saturday. It's another bank holiday. And Jas and I are on some missions. First thing in the morning, we're at the house now. We're gonna meet a kitchen fitter for a quote. And Jas has to build the IKEA cabinet that we bought yesterday. So that's gonna be fun. We're gonna do that. I think the electrician and the builder and a few other plasterers and people are in today. So yeah, that's basically the plan. And then I think we have to go collect some tiles that we've ordered. My uncle and aunt have very kindly made us some dinner or lunch or something, so we need to pick that up from their house sometime after lunch. We'll probably just have it for dinner tonight, which is really good because we've had takeaways the past two nights and it's just, it's too much. We need to just eat some proper food and we haven't really got time to cook at the moment. So that's basically our plan for today. And I'm actually sat outside our new house vlogging in the car. So I'm gonna go before anyone actually sees me. I've got this man. Let me just show you what they've done. Exactly. I didn't even see this yesterday. I think they've just done it today. Look at this. This is basically. Sorry. This is technically Yeah. <laughs> this was our bathroom. <laughs> I think 10.30 he's coming. Yeah, we're going to come at 10.30 because we're running late, so he should be tripped out shortly. Yeah, yeah, right. So where did you find him? Like, my, my builder? Yeah, my builder. Oh my god, that kitchen fitter was ridiculous. Mm. All the builders that were in the house could hear our conversation and he was just like really aggressive and rude and just going on about cost and how he's really busy, not actually giving us a cop cost. And it was really funny because yesterday when I was at the house, I was telling the builder, we were just having like a chat and I was just telling him about how annoying like other builders that we've had before we gave him the job had come round. And because I'm the one that's project managing stuff, obviously I contact them, they have my phone number, they have my email email and when we were at the house if Jas was with me a lot of these like sexist men would literally just disregard the fact that I was there they wouldn't even acknowledge me they'd literally have their back to me they'd be asking Jas the questions and Jas would be like can you just ask her because she's the one dealing with this like he doesn't have time to deal with all this and it was just really annoying so obviously we didn't go with those builders and I was telling the our builder this yesterday and he was just really shocked that people were like that charming and then today yeah he was like that guy seemed like really charming or like something like that and we were like yeah and I was like did you hear him he literally stood there with his back to me I'm holding the paperwork and the kitchen plans and telling him like what we need and he's literally got his back to me and he was talking to Jas 
and I was like sorry but I'm the one holding the plans I'm the one I just can't deal with these people like why are these sexist men like that they irritate me so much like is it really that difficult to talk to a woman like what is your problem mate it was so annoying wasn't it uh, yeah it was even I think it annoyed everyone even the builder was like, what? And like, he was going, oh, like, you know, you need to get your flooring and your paint and your tiles. I was like, we just want you to fit the kitchen. That's all we want a price for. And he was like, well, you have to pay to get rid of your old kitchen. I was like, do you see an old kitchen here anywhere? Like, is there one? There isn't one. That was gone a long time ago. And then he was worried about parking and... Oh, you guys got, you got, you got to pay for the parking. And we were like, it's free parking. Shit. It was just, he was so annoying. And then after all that, he thinks I was talking to go with him because he wants me to still send him the plans. Yeah, as if that's going to happen. Lumpy. One thing I do have to say, though, is when you go on these websites like My Builder or Trust a Trader or whatever, I don't think that anyone that's registered with them are very good because I just feel like if you're a really good builder, you go on word of mouth and if you're looking for business you're just not very good um i'm just basing that on all the experience we've had with people that we've booked on there and they've just been very crap so i'm not a fan of using those i'd rather go with yeah, somebody some, that's been recommended yeah but some recommendations i did have one recommendation some recommendations even on the next door app for example that people do recommend others but even then it's hit and miss because they could be just no one recommending their brother or your friend that's that the thing of. whenever i ask on social media for recommendations like on facebook groups or the next door app i'm like please can you recommend somebody that you've actually had do stuff to your house don't like recommend your brother because he's a builder because like that's not a proper recommendation is it no i know so i actually done some because i like doing some research and i found out that this guy was another one was recommending someone from their own network like they have the bni network Oh, like, yeah, so you cool. have that, so you got a lot of that going on next door app, and that's definitely worth um, you know looking into because some people think, oh, just yeah, like, you can't just recommend your people because they're your mates, or you yeah, that's what sort of that, a lot of that goes on because because a giveaway is when they say, oh, go for so and so, like Joe Blogs, where it is, or oh, don't forget to mention my name, refer and, and that, yeah, kind but of just because someone's a nice person doesn't mean that they're good at their job or know what they're doing, anyway. This guy was just awful, but obviously, not sending him the plans, and he's not going to be doing the job, but. I'm just, I thought we were over it. I thought we'd like, we, we were done with these like sexist men. But obviously, there's still another one that we have to find to fit our kitchen. Um, actually, there'll be a few more. We need to find a worktop person. Anyway, it's now like, not even midday, but we've been up so early. We're going to go grab some lunch and um, then just do a bit more shopping and head back to the house. So yeah, happy days. The plaster in this bedroom is now dry. Look at how nice this colour is. I absolutely love it. And here are some of our deliveries. And there we go. It's so beautiful. This little room's been plastered too. Oh, okay, I noticed this before. Yeah. Still a bit wet, but it looks so nice. Yeah, it looks wet. I love it. It's not hard work. My fishing rod here, look. I think it's a bit of really. Look at my bench. Oh, These are like lime washed walls, you know, the paint that you get that's not all like yeah. a flat colour. I love it. I'm going to take you into the bathroom and show you in here because it, it's crazy. This is our bathroom. There's literally nothing in it. It's actually crazy. And this could have actually been on some of the I've just realised if I stand on these gaps, you can see why I'm not dressed. But yeah. This is a broken window, Jess. I don't think you've seen this. Oh, you haven't happened? This is because of the toilet incident. <laughs> I couldn't really see it properly from downstairs outside yesterday, but he was showing me. I was like, oh, it's a little crack. And he was like, no, it's not just a little crack, it's like huge. It actually is. Obviously, I'm replacing it, by the way. <laughs> This is so weird, isn't it? To be standing in a bathroom. There was once a toilet, yeah. Ah, oh, yuck. Okay, come on. Oh, that's not blocked up there. You know what? Because that's the same pipes going down. Somewhere, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's not blocked up there. Yeah, that's not blocked up there. Yeah, that's Whoa, this light makes my skin look so orange. Anyway, I'm going to end this video here. I have no idea where I've left it, but it's now the end of the weekend, and I think next week is going to be possibly the last renovation week i don't actually know but thank you for watching and i will see you next week for a new video <laughs> bye